Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career for the period beginning January 11th. So, oh, because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you. It does resonate. Throw a comment below if you want to claim this uh, reading. Throw a comment below for, or also throw a comment below if you want me to resonate with your energy. Um, but because it is a general reading, you might want to also take a look at the forecast for your moon sign and your rising sign as well. All right, so let's get started. Hey, thanks again for liking and subscribing. Whoops, there we go. Two fell out. Put that there. So that YouTube can find my new channel. Really appreciate that. If this is your first time, know that I... This is a spirit tarot reading. I have about, I have a gaggle, tons of spirits in my space. I'm also getting some of your spirits for those of you who are guided to the video. All right, somebody's grandmother is here. Uh, they passed, they were in their early 70s. Um, just want to wish you a happy new year. I'm trying to get a little bit more of a description from her. I get a picture of her. Obviously, she has gray hair. It's kind of short, but it's curly-ish, like wavy curly. Um, it's like 90, 90 million grandma, sorry. Um, blue eyes. Um, like to cook. You liked her cooking. Not everybody liked her cooking, but you liked her cooking. Um... Come on, give me something, Grandma. We used to have secrets together. Okay. And you used to take her shopping. All right, that's all I've got, kids. But anyway, she says hello. Uh, all right, so for spirits, for the period beginning the 11th of January, what do we have for our dear and wonderful cancers? Oh. Okay, someone else is in here, and you guys see the same birth month. Somebody's uh, grandparent is here, grandmom. She just wanted to say hello as well. All right, so what do we have? We have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and we have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Nice. We have the Eight of Coins. Nine of coins. All right, I see money in someone's future here. Knight of pentacles. Let's start with those, and we'll work our way if we need to, to do a couple more. And we've got two cards here on the spirit cards they pulled. All right. All right, somebody's singing. <laughs> somebody's singing at me. Uh, somebody's past loved one, male. Nice voice, you know. Nice voice. Why do they always... Why always? Why do they always sing Sinatra? So he's singing, If I could make it there, I'll make it anywhere. So I'm assuming he's from New York or the tri-state area over there. Um, anything you want to share, Mr. Crooner? Nope, just singing. Okay. <laughs> so so that will resonate with someone. I just don't know what, what the meaning is yet. Okay, so... Uh, Anyway, so we've got the Queen of uh, Pentacles in reverse. So at the beginning of this period, I feel as if we've got some residual money issues, issues with money, not having the money that you need in order to move forward. Um, and lacking that wisdom at the beginning to figure out what the next plan is. All right. Uh, you know, and I just, this is very short-lived because I see all this other money and good news here. So let's see what else we have here. So we've got this Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is it's about progress. So at the beginning of the period, or you're coming into this period, you might have, you know, maybe you've overspent it at the holiday, but you have some issues with money. Um... And then immediately we've got this page of, of pentacles, which is about money, progress, 
in progress in business. So for those of you who are working on a business, your business, um, uh, you'll, you'll get inspiration and ideas that really help pick up your business or your business is picking up. If you're looking for work, um, yeah, so Spirit's saying brush off your resume, look at it, go find a place where they post jobs, look at the, t the different bullets of the job. Is that what you're telling me, Spirit? Look at the different bullets of the job. Take the key phrases of those bullets and somehow incorporate them into the resume. You've got the skill set, but your resume doesn't show the key words. So brush off your resume is really what... Brush off your resume. Thanks, Spirit, for the long-winded answer, but apparently that's going to mean something to somebody. Brush off your resume. Get, get, your, get, your, um, get yourself in order there. Um, so you've got two pages together. Okay, that's about friendships. So I think that you, for those of you who are moving forward, you're moving forward as you, uh, with your friends, with the friendship, with the partnership that you have forged together. Um, see, this page, this is the page of cups. That's also about the bearer of good news. Um, it's about lightening up. So your homework this week, because it's in the spirit reading, even if it's a tarot, there's always going to be homework. Spirit wants you to be, have a delicious life and a gasmic life, a life filled with delicious moments. So the homework is to lighten up, stop being so emotional, stop being so serious. Yes, emotion is fun, energy and motion, but the emotion you need to focus on is being in joy do you get it? Enjoy. Enjoy. Happiness. Joy. Uh, appreciation. Appreciate all the little bits that you're at right now. Um, charity. When you give with no expectation, pff, talk about opening up your heart. Talk about raising your vibration. Chakras are tingling as we speak, you know? You know how you can tell you're in good space? When you say something and you get a tingle. Like you can say, I am a delicious, fabulous, um, healthy woman. And you get a little rush. Ooh. That's, that's, what, that's the feeling you should have when you're doing stuff all day. Okay? Like, oh. When I, when I take that first sip, I haven't made the coffee yet, but when I take that first sip of that macchiato off my little Italian espresso machine that you can have the most delicious, okay? I take that first sip, and I'm going, ah. Oh. It's that aha moment. Those are the things that you should feel. And so Spirit wants you to lighten up, Okay. This is about good news, but it's about creativity. It's about alignment um, to a higher version of you. The one that's filled with love, not the one that's filled with worry. Yeah, you, Cancer. You know who I'm talking about. Not the worry, not the despair, not the negative Nancy news. And I can see that you've, you're, you're just, you have walked away from a lot of the drama that's been in your life uh, because it wasn't caused by you. But you, were, but you haven't walked away from it all. So if you're not going to walk away from it, Spirit's asking you to, to lighten up and not allow it to infiltrate your space. Okay? People use that kind of drama for control. Look what's going on in our, in our world these days. Come on. You know, if it bleeds, it leads, that sort of thing. They want to suck you into the negativity. Shut the television off for a while. You know, just shut it off. Shut off the, 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 the computer. Shut off the Twitter feed or whatever it is. Shut it down for two days. See how better you feel. Yeah, it's okay in doses, but, you know, don't be consumed. All right. If you do your homework, I'm sorry. I get a little carried away. If you do your homework, okay, what do we have for you? Johnny, what's behind door number one? Well, we have the Eight of Coins, and the Eight of Coins is about money on its way. 
Isn't that lovely? And it's about opportunities. It's about inspiration to manifest something new in your life. Okay? And then we have the nine. And the nine is about financial security. And you want financial security. You know, it's about tending your garden. It's about financial reward. It's about uh, independent women. Okay, or this is an independent, it's an independent feminine energy, let's just say, because you don't have to be a woman to be, have an independent feminine energy. Um, okay, so Spirit is saying we've got a couple of cancers on here, married, um, pregnant, we're having a family, congratulations, somebody's saying congratulations, you're having a baby for, the, for, that, for that person. All right, so what else do we have here? We've got the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is about, again, financial upticks, financial security. Also, potential with a new partner, for the, with a partner. So you might, have, you might be with somebody uh, fairly recently, uh, or maybe you're looking for a new partner. What else do we have here? All right. So we have the, oh, I'm laughing because it's such a beautiful card. I love this card. This is the Six of Rods. This is about the victory. Okay. This is about the win. You know, um, yeah, in money, uh, you've got the win. You also have the win in relationship. Good news, because in this card also is about good news. It's about victory in, 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 the, in the business front, but it's also about declaring one's feelings, okay? And then you got the two of cups. This is about marriage. So congratulations to the people that are having children, because as I said, I, somebody, somebody's, uh, somebody's spirit came in, for that so um also we see some of you uh getting that going to that next level marriage uh also this is also about new relationships so lots of great things happening for cancer uh for this period let's see what we have as far as the cards are concerned Ooh, i am so sorry all right meditate this is from um one of the buddhas okay so in order to lighten up yeah meditate go and <clears throat> take take time to shut it all down just like we we talked about you know we talked about lighten up well how are you going to lighten up if you don't be quiet so if you, you need to shut off the television you need to go someplace by yourself where you're not going to be interrupted and you need to go and meditate do you not know how to meditate that's okay we have these wonderful things during our health crisis called masks. Put your mask on. Leave it on. All right? Breathe in and out of your nose. And while you're trying to quiet the mind, give the monkey mind, <clears throat> the internal voice, a job. And that is feel the breath going in and out of your nose. If you have a mask on, you will. Close your eyes. Think of nothing. I don't want no music. Nothing. Nothing. Clear your mind. Focus on the breath. Everything else will become clear. You'll start, and maybe you'll be able to get 40 seconds or less before you get, before you, you, you get a thought. Just keep putting them back to the nose, back to feeling that breath. All right? And then you will be able to meditate. And once you learn meditation, the world is your oyster, kid. All right? What else do we have here? Listen, okay. This is also about listening to your inner self, listening to, once you be, learn how to meditate, not only will you be able to hear, you'll be able to lighten up, you'll be able to be calm, you'll be able to release worry, and you'll be able to hear. And what are you going to be hearing? Your next levels, your next steps. You'll be hearing inspiration. You'll get messages. Um, you'll clear all the, 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 the crap that has been stuck. All right? And honestly, wearing the mask, you'll feel the breath. That will keep your focus there um, when you get distracted. That's, the one good, that's one of the good things we have with this mask. You can actually use it to help yourself meditate. All right, kids, that's all I've got. Hey, thanks again for liking and subscribing. Thanks for, uh, thanks for throwing a comment below if this resonates with you or if you want to claim the reading. And don't forget, there is money here if you want it, but there's also great love. Up to you. What do you want, Cancer? Don't forget, do your homework to open up the channels to bring all this in. Take care.